Draven, you've been back for a couple months. Mm -hmm. What's this process been like knowing that you understand what USC is all about, but at the same time, too, you're trying to get acclimated to everything around you? Right. It's been an unbelievable uh, last few months. Um, like I tell guys, it was, I can't lie, it was fast at the time that it happened. But, you know, when you come home and you got a lot of guys rooting for you, a lot of people willing to help you. Um, so the dust kind of settled a lot quicker than I was expecting to settle because of the number of hands that was willing to help me get settled. So I'm happy to be here, excited to be here, and ready to get to work. How do you build those relationships so quickly, you think? Oh, uh, time, man. Um, it's, you, you have 24 hours in a day, so you have to make that time. Um, that's just with any relationship. If you don't spend time, so, um, I, you know, family wasn't here, so I had time to spend with the boys. and. Um, we spent a lot of time together. You know, last week, Tonka out in Nashville and mm -hmm. Gene Beamer said mm -hmm. it as well. One thing in particular they keep mentioning is just you can feel how much you love USC and mm -hmm. love being back here. When you hear that coming from not just your boss, mm -hmm. but especially from a player that you're going to be coaching, how much does that mean to you? It means a lot. Um, it means a lot that they understand how important um, South Carolina is to me, and um, it, it's kind of like we're in the same boat, you know, Tonka is a player here, Coach Beamer, so I know it means a lot to them also, but um, just for me, years ago, during the time that we had a lot of success, and to see the program where it's at right now, this, this is really a great um, opportunity for me to come back and be a part of uh, what Coach Beamer got building here. We've asked other players about the Josh, Coach Beamer, this three years ago mm -hmm. when he first got the job. Is it crazy coming back and just seeing that ops building and just seeing how oh, much has changed and just all the resources mm -hmm. you have? And I say that because as someone that was here during the yeah. golden mm -hmm. age of, you know, when South Carolina was at its highest, mm -hmm. how much does that excite you knowing like, hey, look, we have these resources that we didn't have back then, and yet we were able to be successful back then? I think me and Coach Beamer try to give guys hints like, hey, man, 10 years ago we, we didn't have none of this. And it's to me just to get the guys to appreciate what they have because – we did a lot of great things without the resources that we have, but to have the number of resources around Columbia right here um, in our pockets that we can just reach and grab and use is amazing because we didn't have, you know, that facility. We didn't have any, but we had a lot of success. So I tell guys there's no excuse. You don't want for anything. You got everything you need to be successful here. And um, I'm looking forward to us, you know, excelling from here. Um, just going even farther than that. This place has so much more room to grow, and um, you know I want to be a part of it. Speaking about growing, mm -hmm. Columbia's grown since you So gone. much, it's 13 you know, years. How, I mean, is, there any, is there any spots you've been happy about being able to hit back up since you've been back um, in town? You know, you go into Vista, you see the restaurants, but um, you know, we used to go, it's one spot, it's not actually in Columbia. It's, it's, out, it's, it's called me obvious like it's Japanese. Oh, yes. yeah. Oh, yeah. And we used to go there all the time. And, and back then, you know, driving that far, that seemed so far away. But now it's like, man, that's, that was a spot. But there's plenty of spots. But there's a lot of new spots that I, I can't wait to check out and, and see. And um, one one restaurant I mentioned uh, was Amy's Deli. Um, you know, I was always look forward to going back there. And, um, you know, they just put new carpet in. they renovating the place. So, um I love Andy's Deli because it's right in the heart of Five Points and you have access to everything. And it's good sandwiches. So. Let's let's end on that because you bring that up and mm -hmm. obviously, you know, the late Andy passed away mm -hmm. and his son has done a tremendous job yep. of carrying on mm -hmm. his legacy. But I remember in your introduction press conference at South Carolina, you mentioned how mm -hmm. the family extended mm -hmm. to your family with your child's first birthday yep. there and what that's meant. You know, I, I say that because when you look at a place like Andy's Deli, so many people remember that, mm -hmm. but this city has a whole what does this mean to you to truly be back i know you've talked about mm -hmm. before but now that you've been back for a couple months and now that you're a week away from coaching at south mm -hmm. carolina i'm sure something that was a dream to you yeah it was a dream um like i said when i was here i never forget a conversation i had with a friend of mine um he was like asking me what i wanted to do when i was finished playing and he was like hey you need to get in contact with coach Spurrier. make sure he knows you want to coach and I never did because I, at the time, I didn't know for sure I wanted to coach. But um, it just happened so fast. And it feels so good to come back to Columbia where I started. Um, I knew years ago when I chose this place as my new home, um, I knew it was going to be home forever. So just to have the opportunity to come back, doing something I love to do is coaching and being around football and being home. It means everything to me. And just to have my kids, my boys to experience, you know, where I started at, you know, they had, they, they're young, so they don't have no idea of how things went for me and mom, because mom went here too. 
So just to have them to come back and experience um, something that we grew up and how we built, uh, built the program when we was here.